Well, that'll be haunting my dreams for a good while. What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Leader Class, Overload. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Overload looking all overloady. His name is Overload from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Transformers. On the side of the box, we have Overload, his nose glows. He is a leader class, a class leader, a leader class, a, and a class a leader. On the side of the box, we have Devastator, little Devastator logo on the top, Revenge of the Fallen, on the bottom words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and he has a little brief bio in multiple languages. Hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Overload, the last of the Studio Series Constructicons. So here he is, and let's get this over with! So here he is, in his vehicle mode. He is a big vehicle that does big vehicle things, but let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Not too much going on here, coloration-wise. It's just the uh, dark gray plastic. You know, the headlights are there, but not picked out in paint, unfortunately. And the ladder's there, too. Which I will probably uh, take, like, a silver Sharpie to them. I pick those out. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. And you can see the windows there picked out in like a kind of like a dull blue. You got the red rims. You do have some pretty nice little details throughout. Some bits of silver here and there. You got a lot of silver up top here. Lots of little detail. Not too much detailing wise, but what is there looks pretty nice. And there's the back. On the other side here, we got some other little details as well. You can see some of the paint kind of uh, came off on this section because this bit right here plugs into this port in robot mode. And as you can see, it just kind of took some of the paint off. It was just kind of paint stuck, but um, I can touch that up. But Oh no, not too shabby looking. There is the top, there is the bottom. It rolls as rolling things should, hooray. Hooray for rolling. And he does also include the uh, the neck piece here for Devastator. It's done in like a dark gray with some green highlights going on there. And this does store on the vehicle mode. You can see our little uh, clips on either side. It just clips in right back here and helps cover up those little uh, exposed claws there in the back. You just pop that on right there. And there is your storage. So mm, there you go. And for comparison, here he is with Studio Series Megs, with Studio Series Prime. And now we're going to try to get the group shot. We're going to try anyway. I don't know how this is going to work out, but we, yeah, I'll do the best I can. We'll see what we can do here. We'll see what we can see. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... That guy there, <laughs> this guy here, maybe that guy right up front, I don't know, well, you know, something to that effect, get a little aerial shot going on there, but there you go, there you have all of your Constructicons, so, there you go! So there is the vehicle mode, and I think it looks pretty good for what it is. But let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> get back here, man. So first we will go into combined mode, and then we will go into robot mode. So obviously you want to remove this piece and put that off to the side. And we shall begin. So the first thing we're going to do is, what are we going to do first? Uh, we'll do this part first. So you want to come back here and split this. You're going to rotate what will be the legs here and just bring them all the way up until they lock into place like so. So rotate and then just bring all of this up so it sits like that. This is going to be the front part. So you're going to rotate this section now like so. You're going to unpeg the claw here and just rotate that around just to get it out of the way for now. This section here is just going to angle back slightly and then you're going to raise up this little 
section here and this is going to be uh, basically like a little brace to keep that in place so bring that up and you're going to just bring this out you can take the claw and flip it in like that Hold it back up and then swing this around. And now this is going to plug into this port right here. Just swing that in, plug it in, plug it in. And there you have that all done. Second verse is just like the first. So rotate that around, unplug the claw. Just flip that around and get it out of the way. Angle that back, bring this little support piece up. Flip the claw around. Bring it back around and plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. And there you have the lower body pretty much all done. So now we move on to the upper part here. You're going to take these wheels and just bring them back like so. And you're just going to, actually first we want to come to this section here and bring all of this up. Like that, you want this to stay up. You don't want that to angle. You want that to straight up. Just bring that back. This cockpit section will untab. It will then slide over and then tab back in right there. And then we're going to split this section here. And these are just going to angle forward a bit. And then this will just come up and over and sit right there. And there you go. There you have overload in his uh, combined mode, and he's going to be the crotchial region and kind of ab section there for Devastator, and that's how that works. So yeah, there you go. There's the Devastator booty, the Devi booty. There he is. Yeah, there we go. that's pretty much it. <laughs> Doesn't really look like anything, but when it's all put together, it will look like something. But for now, yeah, it just it's just yeah, it's just kind of some weird like he's trying to do a cartwheel or something. I don't know, but hey, that's the combined mode, and this goes on Mixmaster, but we'll get to that when we get to that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the combined mode. So, moving on to robot mode, shall we? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But uh, what we got to do here? So, we will work on the lower body and then do the upper body here. So, just untab this section here. Uh, holds them quite securely. So just bring this all the way up, and again, this will plug in right in there, like so, and then this will just clip in right in there. So, get that in like so, and then you just flip out this little, little spike deal right there, and you got that going on. And you just bring the wheels all the way back, and you have that done. So now, we can bring this whole crotch section, it comes forward, if you bring the head up too and bring it forward, it will snap into place. And you can bring his head up. I'll just tab in right there. And we can work on his legs. Just bring his legs down. You want to take this wheel section here and just rotate that up. Then the foot will just come up. This panel will come up. And then the heel just swings to the back. Then you can bring the little knee spike down if you want to. You can angle that however you want. And there you have a leg all done. Second fast, just like the fast. So just swing that up, swing the foot up, swing this up, swing this back. A lot of swinging going on. And you just bring that forward. And there you have the lower body all done. And now we move on to the upper body. And you just bring the arms down, swing them out. You do want to bring the shoulder piece up. There is a locking point for it right there. There's a locking point here and there's a locking point there. So for robot mode, you want that angled up like that. And once you've done that, we can then, this little support piece, just bring that back down. We can rotate this around like so. And you just unpeg his little claw, bring that around. Again, you can kind of angle it how you want. Bring that little claw out. And then you want to untab. There's a little tab that goes in here. You undo. You see this little tab? There's a little little slot right in there. You won't be able to see it, but it's in there. So just undo that and just extend this little claw arm out. And just rotate this one around. And again, you kind of angle that however you want. It's on multiple hinges there. You can, you know, get it looking as creepy as you want. And make sure this stays angled up like that and there you have an arm all done or arms all done second verse just like the first just bring that around bring it out 
just angle that up. That's really stiff too. There we go. Bring that up and bring down that little support piece. Rotate this around. Unplug the claws. Bring it down. Bring them out. Bring all this out. Rotate all around. Angle that how you want. Get everything all situated. Get them all standing. Get them looking up. And there you go. Whoa, hey, hot, 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 hot. Don't do the splits on me, man. Don't do the splits on me. There we go. There you go. There you have Overload in his robot mode. And he's just a big, chunky, four-armed murder bot if I ever saw one. But I do quite like his design. I dig him. I dig him. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. Pretty nicely done head sculpt there. You got some nice silver details picked out. You got the faux ladders there picked out in silver as well as the headlights. It's funny, they picked out the faux headlights on his chest in silver, but not the actual headlights on the vehicle mode, but whatever. <laughs> I guess that's where it counts the most, really. But uh, you got some silver there on the chest right here as well. You do get some nice paint apps on the robot mode. You got some more silver in there, silver on the arms. All around some pretty nice details going on. Take a look at all of his arms here. Again, some nice detail. Got some dangerous looking claws and hooks and all kinds of murder implements. And going down the legs. Get some nice red paint apps here. I love that his feet look like step stools. They just do. They look like step stools, but anyway. <laughs> An evil step stool? Uh, evil step stools, yes, evil step stools. But all around, pretty cool. And moving up the back, you can see, you know, it's pretty clean actually. It's not a whole lot going on back there. Everything compacts up pretty well. Most of his mass is pretty much in his. <laughs> he likes to do the splits. He loves to do the splits, by the way. But most of his mass here, as you can see, is kind of in the upper body. But uh, yeah. Pretty cool design in my opinion. Now, articulation-wise, all the head is on a ball joint, so it can it can rotate. Although mine just the ball joint on mine is stiff, but the head can turn. Um, he can look up a little bit. He can look down. Um, little spike up here can you, know, you can angle that how you want if you want to. Uh, the shoulders can do a full 360. They can move in and out at this ratchet here, or you can use the one at the very base too, if you want. So you got up and down movement there. You can bring his arms all the way down if you need to, and bring them up that far. Um, this little section here can pivot up and down if you need to. Uh, this arm can rotate at this axis here. You have a double jointed elbow there. The claw can move in and out. Uh, this arm here can move in and out that far. You have an elbow joint there that can move either way. You have rotation right here, a double joint here. So you can get that going how you want. Um, there is nothing at the waist. Legs can move forward that far, can move back that far. Howard, move the wheel out of the way. He can do the full splits. You have thigh rotation. It's quite snug on mine. Knees, you can bend only that far. Not too much of a knee bend going on there. And the feet, um, they can't move up. They cannot move down. You do have full ankle tiltage due to transformation. And, you know, you can move that uh, heel spike if you need to. And another point of articulation um, in the arms here is this whole assembly with the arms can also rotate. If you need them to, I can do a full 360. So, hey, that's another thing that moves. If you need it to move. The hips on mine are a little loose, man. He likes to do the splits, but no, whatever. I can tighten that up. I can snug that up. But there you have that. Now, as far as storing the uh, neck piece for Devastator, you can see there's this little bit right here. And there is a clip on his back. So you can just take this and just pop it right in there. That just hangs off his butt. That seems to be the most elegant way to store this. Um, any other way just kind of sticks out a little too far so it seems like this is the most elegant way to do it it doesn't say this in the instructions um so that's just how it how i figure it is the most elegant way to store that back there if you want to anyway hey it's storage if you need it so there you have that and now for yeah 
from Paris. Huh? Here he is with Studio Series Prime. Here he is with Megs. And here we go. We're going to try. <laughs> We're going to try to get the family photo in. I don't know how this is going to work. Got eight of these guys. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to do our best. We're going to do our best to get these guys positioned in a way to where they're not all blocking each other, but they're probably going to because, hey, it is what it is. Actually, we'll put him here. We'll put him here. <laughs> That his, uh, his face is just gonna get covered up. That's just the way of it. Little guys, we'll put a front here. And there you go. That's the best I can do. There you have your Studio Series Constructicons. And all in all, a good looking set of some evil murder bots. I can't see! And of course, the last thing is the base of displayage, which is in the box. Let's pull that out. Woo! And open it up, and it's the same display base that they all have with the same background. Revenge of the Fallen. It's a little mangled up because this box got a bit beaten up in transit. Studio Series 66, Devastator logo, Transformers, all that good stuff that we can take. Overload, and just plop him down. And as always, a nice little display option if you want to take advantage of it. So there you have Overload, and yeah, he's a really cool figure. You know, I think this guy and Scrapper are my two favorites of this set. Um, just really love his design. The vehicle mode looks pretty good. The robot mode just looks super just intimidating and menacing, just, just clawy and spiky and just looks really cool. Um, but yeah, there it is. There is Overload. So in tomorrow's video, we will finally take all of these Constructicons, slap them together, and we will see Studio Series Devastator. So stay tuned for that. So there you go. Now I picked this guy up on eBay because no other stores had him in stock yet. Um, but you can check eBay. You can also check BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Transformers Movie Toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Studio Series Leader Class Overload. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Home in your face. Ah, Overload! It's about time you got here. We've been waiting for like 75 million years! It's only been like two months. Do you know how long that is in internet time? It's like dog years! And now I find you here stuffing your face! But I'm on break. Break from what? You just got here. And I'm very tired from the journey. I need a break. Oh, I am so done with you guys.